This is the Louis T. Network. In the lab room. Hey, yo. Who else could it be? But me, your man. Louis T, welcome. You are in the lab room. I, of course, am your host, Louis T. Thank you for joining me on this program. It's the road to the playoffs. And everybody's road is a little different. Talking to the bad guy? Yeah, I'm talking to you. It's playoff time. And we're talking about the road to the playoffs the AFC South champion and number four seed, Houston, Texas. Their road to the playoffs <laughs> was the road last travel. They took the old beaten path to the postseason. Starting this season off at one and four, the Texans looked left for dead early on. An ass whooping at the hands of the Falcons, 48 to 21, in week four, prompted the Houston Texans to make a change at the quarterback position. Getting trounced in that game, they go to Billy Ho, aka Brian Hoyer, in mop up duty, who comes in, plays well, and this leads head coach Bill O'Brien to apologize to not only Brian Hoyer, but the entire team, telling them that he made a mistake by benching Hoyer in favor of Ryan Mallett, which he did in week one in the loss to the Chiefs, and giving the job back to Hoyer where it probably belonged all along, and they moved forward from there. But it did not get much better. In week seven, they took another ass whooping, this time of epic proportions to the Miami Dolphins, 44 to 28. Now that score may not sound bad, but that's a very misleading score. The score was 41 to nothing at halftime. The Dolphins completely took their foot off the gas pedal in the second half. They were trounced in that game, and not only were they embarrassed, but to add insult to injury, or injury to insult, I should say, in this case, Arian Foster tears his Achilles tendon and is done for the rest of the season. At this point, you're thinking the Texans are pretty much cooked in the 2015 season. But it seemed like that ass whooping galvanized this football team. And they go the very next week to Monday night and beat the Cincinnati Bengals. A game which we didn't see coming. They finish up the season winning seven of their last nine games with some huge wins. And I thought that that beat down at the hands of the Dolphins woke the defense up more importantly because this team is predicated off of defensive prowess. They need J.J. Watt and company to deliver for this team to have a fighting chance. And that's what the defense did down the stretch. We expected them to be better under Romeo Cornell early in the season. They were anything but. Second half of the season, they were up to the challenge of stepping up and being the catalyst for the turnaround of this season and that they were as they started to really take it to some teams including Cincinnati at the time they were undefeated on that Monday night when the Texans went in and beat them 10 to 6 we all know about the pop gun reference to Andy Dalton which bent him out of shape doesn't matter this Texans team beat the Jets and the Colts on the road with Brandon Whedon yeah, try doing that. Got to be playing some outstanding defense to do that. And so this team won down the stretch with three different quarterbacks, whether it was Tyler Jonathan Gates, Brandon Whedon, or Billy Ho, Brian Hoyer. This team played winning football, won three straight to finish up the season, and finished at 9-7. AFC South champions will host a playoff game as the number four seed in the AFC postseason taking on the Cavs, the Chiefs, the number five seed, a team that came into Houston earlier in the season. As a matter of fact, it was week one when the Chiefs came in and throttled the Houston Texans, prompting them to change quarterbacks from Brian Hoyer to Ryan Mallett. Will the Texans 
succumb to the Chiefs yet again like they did in week one? Or will this Texans team continue to play hot football and cut through the Chiefs like a hot knife through butter? We'll see. One thing's for sure, the Texans turned their season around, won their division, get a home playoff game, and are now staring an opportunity in the postseason in the face. That was the Houston Texans and their road to playoffs. There's plenty more where that came from. While you're here, subscribe to the channel. If you want more Louis T, be sure to follow me on Twitter at in the lab room or you can like the Facebook page at in the lab room that's in the lab room on Facebook and at in the lab room on Twitter don't forget subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so <laughs>